roadmap. How has the planet Mars lost its water? How are the global dust storms formed? The scientists of the Roadmap Project are investigating these questions by studying the Martian dust. Many things can happen to a dust particle on Mars. Unfortunately, we cannot yet bring back dust to Earth, so to do experiments, Roadmap scientists are recreating copies on Earth. An Earthling Martian dust particle begins its life in Spain, where it is made by the Fun Ceramics Group of the Institute for Ceramics and Glass. Some of the particles remain in Spain to be the focus of experiments by the Andalusian Institute for Astrophysics. In their cosmic dust laboratory, the scientists shoot lasers at the particles, while a camera moves around them to look in which directions the laser light is bouncing away. Some travel to Denmark, where researchers of Aarhus University can experiment on them in their wind tunnel. They recreate Mars's atmospheric pressure and temperature to observe how dust particles are lifted into the air and fall back to the ground. Finally, the rest of the particles go to Germany, to the University of Duisburg-Essen. Here, the researchers have recreated the Martian surface so that they can examine how particles interact with each other when they fall to the ground and bounce against each other. The information gathered by the partners of Roadmap is important for the Belgian team. Scientists of the Royal Belgian Institute for Space Aeronomy need these experiments to interpret their satellite observations and to improve their models of the planet. A roadmap will help us understand how Mars works, but also other worlds in the solar system and beyond.